Hi everyone, my name is Stepan. I'm an architect and co-founder at SA Lab. Welcome to this introduction to Live Academy Advanced Plus covering Grasshopper and Animony plugin. In this class, we are going to create a cellular automaton to design various 3D structures. I have already covered the basics of it in my 101 class for Life Academy, so make sure you check it out to understand all the basics. In terms of software, you will need Rhino 6 and Grasshopper, Animony plugin, and also Weaverbird and Mesh Edit plugins to follow some of the steps of this tutorial. So you will definitely need this Animony plugin. You can find it on Food for Rhino, for example. And make sure you have this 04 version. Uh, you may need Weaverbird to follow some of the steps of uh, this class. This can be found on a separate website. And you may need this Mesh Edit plugin uh, to, to follow, again, some of the steps of this class. So uh, first, we need a grid. To make our cells, let's let's use a panel to assign the size of grid and to assign a number and number of cells in x and y directions. So let's make 30 by 30. Okay. Uh, then what we need to do is to draft all the cells to make each cell a unique object and to not combine in lists, in any lists. Uh, we will need some center points. Else. And we will need some initial states. So basically, what I'm going to do is just count all the cells that we have, 900 of them, and then generate some random numbers uh, 0 or 1, indicating the state of the cell, whether it's alive or not. So now we have two inputs for our for our um, loop. Okay. If we let's just check this out. Everything is right. So. Okay, yeah, now we see some cells are alive and some of them are not. Okay, perfect. So uh, let's grab our loop start component for an enemy plugin. Let's grab the loop end component. And let's take a panel. To define number of iterations, let's start with zero. Okay, and we also need a button to restart the computation. Okay, now points are going this way, states are going this way, and So uh, let's take another panel to, to see the iteration number. Let's grab all the cells in the indicated iteration. Let's 
grab all the states in the same iteration and let's get the, the live cells then we will need to get uh, clothes points we will need to calculate closest points for cells from the alive cells and uh, we are going to grab for example nine cells for the beginning we are going to define the distance to the cells so the distance should be smaller than um, the size of the cell plus some um, something uh, let's say one dot one and then make it a one okay and then again we will need to how many points here nine and how many points here two one yeah that's perfect okay so these are the amount of neighbors and we are going to calculate the amount of neighbors and we are going to have this number here. Two, three, two, three, four, three, 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 four, zero. Okay. Um, then we will compare this amount of neighbors with some numbers. For example, uh, smaller than four. Let's do it with panel. Make it better. I prefer panels to the sliders. And larger than two, for example. Larger than two. Okay, then multiply it to meet both criteria and um so these are the final conditions um go here and oh no um conditions are going here we are going to grab them all and make a history of them to record the history um this number and the expression over here is x plus one and I uh, also then grab all the points here and then my uh, the most recent generation okay and this is going here okay okay and then grab this and grab that and no 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 i need a generation of points and of states Okay, so let's turn it off. Let's make 10, for example. Okay, everybody's dying out. Uh, let's change some conditions here. Uh, okay. Okay, grab nine, but 
Um, one dot one. Okay, let's make that one. Yeah. So now we are getting some kind of these patterns. Um, let's. Let's make drawing and rectangle. Rectangle minus all that five to all that five. Actually, a square, not rectangle. Okay, okay. And we create the surface and then some this pattern. Okay, so now we are starting with some random state, and then our system evolves and produce some kind of Results and uh, that one. We can do some kind of different pattern. Um, let's say two, but less than four, so two and three neighbors. Basically, what I'm saying here in this rules is that each cell that has two neighbors uh, or two or more than two neighbors and less than four neighbors is alive. So two, three, two or three neighbors, each cell that has two or three neighbors is alive. And if we change this distance, this is basically defining how many cells we are looking at, um, how close the neighbors are to the cell that we are looking at. So um, this is actually the beginning, just the beginning. And many more to come. We are going to play with these rules over here with the with the size of the grid, with some attractors here and there, and then with the outcome of uh, all this system. Uh, let's check more neighbors. I'll say two. Okay, one dot one. Let's leave it one dot one. Um, okay. Let's see what is going to happen. One and three here. Probably the system will extinguish or now it starts producing some noisy patterns, which is rather interesting actually if you're making some kind of, I don't know, public space and you want some pattern on the pavement, for example. This may be treated as a plan and you get all these caves, and different canyon-like shapes. Okay. So I'll be looking forward to the class and I will be waiting for you to join the class. Thank you.